Hello everyone, it is Joe Beauty 87 here and today we are going to do a video on the Pac-Man collection. I actually have the lip gloss on right now. I have on the color Pinky. We're going to put on the color Clyde toward the end of the video. I'm actually going to try out this um, crust foil highlighter. I know this isn't new, but like this is the first time I saw it at any Walmart that I went to. The Walmart by my house never had this collection, so... I just went ahead and bought it and I was like, we could try it out, you know, together or whatever. And then since I had the blush set, we just gonna put on the powder blush, which is this one right here, and the rest of them we just gonna leave them alone. I also got the brushes. Now when I uploaded the picture up on Instagram, I hadn't found the brushes yet, so I just showed y'all what I had. But I found both the brushes when I went to um what is it? Walgreens literally the very next day. So I'm gonna use the eyeshadow brush and then I'm gonna use this, what is this? The powder brush to put on the um Blush, you know, I don't normally use a brush this big for the blush. I would use like a smaller one, but since it's part of the collection, we're gonna use it now. I'm sorry if you can hear Adrian Game Over in the background. I know one video I did, I heard him in the background, so I was like, oh god, that means they can hear him too. Jesus, but you know, he's nine, we'll be ten next month, so we're a little kid, we're loud. I'm sorry, what can I say? That's it. Um, so we use this because this one doesn't have a mirror in it, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I started off with I used the pink. The coral, I use the yellow literally just across the top. You can't even see it at all, so I'm probably not going to do it this side. I use the purple, and then I use this um, orange and this brown shade, and that's how we got this situation here. And then I put the white in the inner corner. So we're going to start off with the eyes. Like I said, I already gave you a lip. I actually didn't think this pink look was going to look as nice as it does. I actually am really feeling the vibes. I feel like if I had a lip liner on, it would look ten times better. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with this brown shade right here, and I'm just going to put that in the crease area and then it gets covered up by all the pink and you don't see it anyway but I figured I should follow what I did the yellow I'm not really concerned about because I feel like you can't see it at all anyway and since y'all farther away then you know I don't necessarily like you to be you can't really see the yellow here either so I'm like we're gonna just forget about the yellow this time I'll just make sure I turn my head this way when I take pictures that way you don't see the yellow on the other side if you can happen to see it in this video because I really feel like it's not necessary. I do have eyeshadow. I did get the Anastasia eyeshadow primer, so we'll try that tomorrow with the uh, Luminous palette by um, Sir John. This one's going up today because I have nothing like literally up for today or tomorrow. I literally just have videos scheduled for Sunday because I knew this package was coming in Friday, so I was like, we're gonna go ahead and take advantage, full advantage of this situation. I was gonna film another video, but I put some stuff on my lower last night because I got happy and excited. So the other dupe video I was gonna film today is not gonna happen. Um. We're going to keep it to the wear test on this foundation, and we're going to keep this eyeshadow look on. Good thing I'm not going anywhere, because otherwise, y'all, this will probably be a little extra for wherever I plan on going. Um, okay, um, oh god, I'm about to dip into the wrong palette, y'all. I'm screw up my whole life. Now we're going to take the pink shade, and, um, put that into my crease. Um, so here we go, just... I think I like dug a whole bunch of it out the first time and just like patted it on so that way I could get the color I wanted. If I had used the Anastasia um, primer, I would have did better. But like I want to test those side by side and then go with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do a bright eyeshadow, but I'm gonna do like a quick two eye color look type situation so that way we can get the full vibe of like how well it's gonna be. But I'm gonna make sure it's like the darkest colors in the dupe palette that I'm doing so then that way we can see how well it'll do it, how well it'll bring out the pigmentation of you know the eyeshadows one versus the other one so that's why i'm not really um trying to dip into that today i'm really feeling these lips y'all i'm like all up in the um thing if i put a lip liner on it probably look 10 times better i kind of want to put these over like a liquid lip just to see you know if it would look better that way like more of a dry one i kind of want to put um flamingo on by um Persona Cosmetics and just put this on top and see how amazing that would look. But oh, my Persona Cosmetics lip gloss video will be going up today, so that's the third video y'all gonna get for today. And then tomorrow I have to figure out what we're gonna do then. I don't know. Um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and put the other up this group. We're, we're already here now. We're already here. Let's, let's, let's do it. I don't even whatever. Um, so we're gonna take the Pac Man in the middle, and I'm just patting this brush in there, and I just lightly. Oh, it looks like the brushes that came with the collection when I pat that yellow one on that. Check that out. No. Sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just lightly tapping this in and then like running it across the top up here. So we're going to do that really quick. You can see it on the... I feel like you see it on the back part really well. But like when I go toward the front, you hardly ever see it. So I don't know if I just deposit the majority of it there and that's why you can't see it in the back at all. I mean in the front at all. But see, like, you can't see when I turn this way. You only literally see it on the outer 
part of the eye. Or maybe I shouldn't put the primer up high enough with this one. Or it has dried down so it's not giving me what I want. Because I have on the Smash um, box lid, what is it, lid lock, whatever. I have that on. And I feel like you can see it on the outer brow one, but otherwise you can't see it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So moving on. Um, the next thing I did was um, put the corally color on the lower lash line. So I'm going to do that. So I started with the corally one, and then I put the pink one on on top of that. So let's just do that, and then we'll worry about the lid. And the um, inner quarter last. And then we'll move on to the blush. And this highlighter. So that's what, another reason I'm trying to kind of get done quickly. But the colors in this are really pretty nice. Uh, we'll I could definitely see myself using this palette again. Because I want to use like the pink and the coral. And like that weird blue shade. I feel like that would be a cool look. And still put the purple on the outer lash line like I did on this side. Because I feel like that will just look so cool. So, y'all might catch that one on IGTV because I got to film some IGTV tutorials tonight. And with these things on lower lash line, that'll be fine. So, I might have my son film that and then my IGTV tutorial for this week. I haven't shot any for, um, I don't think for a week, mind you. I don't think. I think it's been a week since I last shot some. So, I'm just putting that pink underneath here that I told y'all about. After the core, I try to do it low enough to where you can still see both colors. What it is, y'all? I'm dropping stuff in every video. What brush? Oh, I dropped my inner corner brush. We'll get to that in a second. We're not there yet. Um, so on the outer V, Jesus, picking up the wrong palette. On the outer V, I put this um purple shade on. So I'm gonna do that first. I had did it last the last time, and I feel like it doesn't look as good. So I'm gonna try it first in this one, and then do the um what is it? The yellow? I mean, not the yellow, the orange that's on the lid, and see if that makes a difference. Because I felt like it didn't work as well for me because you know it looked a little patchy to me it might just be the brush I'm using because but I like to use pencil brushes on my outer feet because I feel like I I can shape stuff better with pencil brushes that's why I do it you don't have to do it that way you should do it whichever way is like easiest for you sis I know that's what I do sorry let me move that my face so you can kind of see what I'm doing it is hard because I don't have like a desk and then like a magnifying mirror where I can just sit all this stuff and do all this stuff. Pray one day we get there but we ain't bad at access. Um so we go ahead and work with what we got. So I'm blending that out a little bit. Now I'm gonna put the lid on. I used the um NYX glitter glue the last time I did it, so I'm gonna use it this time. But I didn't use a brush when I put it on this eye, so I'm hoping it looks better with a brush on this side. You don't really need this, it's just I didn't know how the shimmer was gonna be because I was, you know, doing with my finger and I want to make sure I had like the proper placement so I was like I'll put the glitter glue on there I know it will stick to at least the places I want it to so we're doing that now I'm sorry if you hear coughing and all the other stuff in the background people want to get attention to be important so they're doing all the extra stuff okay now we're going to take this orange color right here with the um, eyeshadow brush and I guess it picks up a good amount of product and then we just go ahead and pat it on the lid so pat 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 all up in the middle here So I'm lightly swiping it now that I have started patting it. I'll do a little bit more of that. So I'm just work the inner corner here. And then I'm gonna go back over with the um you know the um what is that with the pencil brush to do this purple and then I'm gonna go in and blend some more pink in. So let's get the pencil brush and do some more in this outer V situation here. So pat it. Now we're going here, and I usually put more pink on it to blend it, but this time I just decided to blend it whatever is already on here, because I'm like, why not, why not? And I might put some more um, orange on the lid. I feel like I need a little bit more orange on the lid, because I feel like you see more of the purple than you do the orange. Which I do. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and just go some inner corner because I'm fine with the way it looks. Um, crap. I don't know, the second tutorial, I'm going to drop a whole bunch of stuff. I have to keep going to pick up stuff. Like, now nah, I'm going to have to go pick up that lip gloss in a second. Ugh! Like, this is not the day for filming for me. I don't know what. To me, this just seems like it's not the day for me at all. It's just entirely too much going on. Really, I feel like a lot of days is entirely too much going on. Okay, we're going to blend out this with this brush. 
just blend out everything, try to like smooth out how the shadow looks. So that's what I'm doing here, y'all. Okay, let's move on to the blushes now. So the blush palette was actually the thing I was most excited about. Even though these eyeshadows are actually pretty, pretty, pretty amazing, considered they're colorful ones. So I'm gonna swatch some of this stuff. Let's swatch one, two. Even though I obviously can't use these as blushes, but you know the only one I'm gonna halfway try to use is that one, and maybe I'll put the shimmery thing on top of it. But one, two, three. Okay, so the third one I would use is a highlight. As you can see, the fourth one doesn't build up that well. I mean, it doesn't swatch that well, but I mean, I'm, I figure I can build it up pretty nicely. So let's get Kirsten's palette again and put this blush on. Now, like I said before, this brush is kind of big for um, blush for me, but we're going to make it work today because I don't have a choice. And I'm just packed. Oh, you can actually see the color on me. I didn't think I was going to be able to see this color at all, so I'm kind of impressed right now. But then again, I did have to pack on like quite a bit in order to probably see this color. And I'm still like packing it on in order to get that color. So. I might put the shimmery highlighter you looking blush on top and see how that works. But yeah, I can actually see the color. Okay. Okay, wasn't why I thought this was going to be like useless, but I still liked the color story, so I bought it. Um, So yeah, we're going to take, what is it, the third one, this one right here that kind of has like an orgasm vibe to it. And just lightly pop that on top, and then we're going to take this highlighter and see if we can do that real quick. Before. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting NARS orgasm vibes with these two at the bottom. So I'm feeling this combination situation. Are you all getting anything from this collection? Because I'm over here like just, as you can see, living. Um, yeah, so that's the blush palette. Uh, let's put on the gloss. And then we will see if I have time for this highlight situation. If not, we can highlight another time.